Hi, I'm Bernhard, and this is Max, and we are two of the founders of Kizi. Kizi integrates the house key into the smartphone to enable a whole new sharing experience. And when you think about what you usually have in your pocket, it's your smartphone, your wallet, and, sorry, do you have my keys? Oh, yeah, sometimes I hand out keys to friends and I don't get them back. It happens a lot. So in the future, smartphone remains. And while money gradually wanders into the smartphone, it's possible to integrate a house key into the smartphone right now with Kizi. And if we can put that on camera, this is how it looks like. Kizi can open any, almost any door from inside your apartment. It's plug and play and it's German engineered. <laughs> so the, the smartphone becomes the remote control for your doors. You have full control anytime and anywhere. And when you think about a apartment in a multifamily house, you have two doors, the front and the apartment toward, door to, to pass when you want to enter. So we have developed a product that serves this need. And to open the front door from the apartment, there's a chip located in your intercom inside the apartment, when we can put that on camera, to open the door downstairs. And there's no changes at the front door downstairs. So for the apartment door, there's this lock, and you can control it through internet, and we partner with big brands like Quickset, who enable us to provide you with a maximum of security and reliability. So the product, um, if you reserve the product today, um, this um, consists of hardware and software at no additional cost. And this is how we revolutionized the key that has been invented 4,000 years ago. Sorry, it's a disruptive call. Can you, can you put it on slide? It's my lazy roommate. I don't know what he wants. Hey, Sasha, what's up? Hey, Bernard, um, I locked myself out. Uh, can you let me into the apartment? Well, I'm at a presentation right now, but I, I don't can, can oh, come down to the apartment. Um, I, have to, but I have to go to the airport. Is, is there any way I can get into the apartment? I can buzz you in if you want. Oh, okay, awesome, great, that, that's fantastic. So it's really that easy to open a door from remote, but what I also use Kizi for is for the guests that come over for the weekend and I pre-share a key with them before they arrive, so the key is in their smartphone before they arrive. There's no more hassle to hand over the keys. You have full control. Do you really know when your babysitter or your dog walker or your cleaner comes to your apartment and leaves it with Kizi you know. And you have unlimited keys. So we use Kizi for the co-working space we kind of live in and everyone has a key now and there's no more keys to be lost because the key always comes back. So Max, how does it work? Oh, thank you, Bernard. So how does it work? Um, imagine you're sitting in front of your house and you want to enter your apartment, which is on the second floor. So you pull out your phone and you have two buttons. One button is for the front door and the, the other button is for the apartment door. So you pull out your phone, you press the button for the front door and the intercom inside your apartment says open door downstairs and the door buzzes open, you're in. Almost the same for the apartment door. So consider Ki Kizi is not only, um, it, it's not that simple, Kizi, because you can do more. Um, you can unlock all your doors, and then you can monitor your doors, who accessed when, and of course you can share, you can share keys with your friends, guests, you can set um, temporary keys, and you can remove them anytime. So consider Kizi as your personal doorman. He knows when you come home, he opens the door for you. If you're not at home, it opens the door for your guests or friends and keeps unauthorized people outside. So Kizi is actually a doorman who never sleeps, just like New York. So 
at getkeasy.com, um, you can participate in our Indiegogo campaign. So we, we have a really special offer for you for 249. You not only get the shoes of a doorman, you get the Keezy doorman. And you don't have to tip him, Max. Yeah, that's, that's very German. We don't tip. <laughs> so, but honestly, it's really a good offer because the lock alone, which is included in our, in, in our package, is, um, is the price is higher in retail than um, our sales price for the whole package. So, and the, uh, the pre-sale starts right now. So support our project and go to indiegogo.com and search for Keezy. So the best thing is you can still use your regular keys or a pin code to enter your apartment in case your battery runs low or um, your, your phone gets lost. So guys, it's that Keezy. Thank you for your attention. Good job, guys. Right. Judges, feel free to jump in. So uh, this, is, this looks like a fun thing. Um, from a cost perspective to the consumer, can you guys talk a little bit about that? It sounds like maybe there's some retrofitting uh, that maybe you have to do. How, how, does, it, how does it work? Because right now I just have a key. I don't have to pay anything for it. So, so um, the, the price we put it on Indiegogo for is $249. And that's all the money you have to pay. So there's no additional cost. And it's not hard to exchange the lock. It's like you can do it yourself if you have a screwdriver. I mean, and the follow-up question is right now, some people don't want to pay 249 right? So right they now they don't pay anything. But um, of course, you pay for copying keys. You pay if you lose your key to call the locksmith. And you, pay, you of course, have time constraints when you have to travel to hand over keys. And you cannot use special services like um, same-day delivery or other services that come to your home when, when you don't have that solution. So it enables really, um, it removes a lot of problems you have, but it also enables a new level of service you can use. And also, of course, we look to expand to other um, functions than just doors, like gyms or lockers, or you can use that as a whole environment, so you have really your keychain in your, in your smartphone. So but, I'm so. actually, sorry, I'm actually just a little confused as to actually how it works. So you talked about the intercom and then you showed us a little thing, but I don't get it. So you take the original lock off and you put your lock on and that lock, what, is communicating through Wi-Fi, through yes. the Wi-Fi network. Can you be real specific on how it works? Yeah, so basically these two products uh, unlock two different doors. So this lock, as you said, opens your apartment door and it's connected through our wireless protocol um, with the gateway. gateway. Yeah. And this chip opens the front door and is located in your intercom. It's, the installation is similar to Nest, where you just exchange or plug in four wires and plug that in between the regular uh, line of cables and then you close it again. So what if I don't have an intercom system? Then you don't either don't live in a multifamily home or have a doorman. Okay, so these are only for apartments with doorman? Uh, no, no, okay, no, that, not at all. Is. Okay. That's for regular locks, that's for intercom so locks, assuming you can somehow magically get access to inside the intercom. Right, so if you don't have an intercom, it means that you cannot, like when someone rings your bell, and you live on the fifth floor, you cannot open the door for him. You have to go downstairs and open it manually. So if you have that kind of solution, you might ask your landlord uh, if you could please provide such a service like an intercom. Okay. So, so I'm sure you're familiar with Locketron and August, which used to be called Keys, um, and other players in the space. Uh, how do you feel like there's opportunity here for differentiation or for market segmentation or, or where you play versus where they play? Yeah. So. Um, we are, um, so as we said, we're a um, key sharing platform. So our, our strength is that we can control any hardware device on the market or any electronic lock that makes us strong and that differentiates us. So we go to Quickset and say, okay, we want to have, we, we can control their lock, we can do Schlage, Yale, any, anything. So because um, if, you look at the, if, if you look at the lock or door uh, landscape, it's like very diverse. Um, 
not not only in, in I mean within the, the same city. You have intercoms, you don't have intercoms, you have dead bolts, anything. So it's very diverse. And we said, okay, then we, we must provide a solution where we can, or to, to open every door. So that's the only possibility is to build a platform and then to control different devices. That's what makes us strong. Yeah, so actually um, we could even work together with Lockheed Tron to integrate um, the product into our system because it doesn't cover all use cases. So. Isn't that what Z-Wave is trying to do? I mean, you're creating a Sorry? mesh network of, of smart locks, right? So like there's a platform now called Z-Wave. It's a communication network for within the home for smart devices. Yeah. So are you replacing that or are you uh, No, Z-Wave, actually this lock is a Z-Wave enabled lock. Okay. So that's a communication protocol, and of course we use that. And it's, we don't replace any standards that are out there and are being used. So um, yeah, we use C-Wave to talk to the American locks because it seems kind of the standard to talk. Can you talk a little bit about um, the digital security aspect of this? Yeah, so um, because we are focused um, on access and not, are not a general smart home platform, we can provide much more specific security features that others um, cannot provide because it would be too much work for them, like location-based security. For example, when you share a, care, uh, when you share a key with some, someone, you don't want him to open the door for someone else from remote. So you can make sure that he's really in front of your house when he presses the button, otherwise it doesn't work. So like this kind of features we implement and basically we have all the encryption that you use in online banking, but that's like standard. But then on top, we, we have several other security measures we apply. Do you, do you guys feel like you have any unique skills or background that are gonna help you solve the biggest challenges of this business? And what do you think that biggest challenge is? So what are our biggest challenges right now? Yeah, and how do your backgrounds kind of? Oh, our, as a team? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we are a ver very diverse team. And um, um, we ha all have international experience. We all studied here in the US. Uh, Max and me even here in New York. And uh, Ka Ka Carl is at home, he's working, and he's watching. So, so and um, our backgrounds are, um, Carl is a computer scientist, Max is an economics guy, and I'm a product designer. And um, we all have prior startup experience in high-tech companies. And um, yeah, and we, we experience the same problem. Uh, for example, when we were at Oktoberfest, and our guests came from all over the world and we had to leave the tent to let them into our apartment. And that's what kind of um, brought the conversation up to, um, to enable uh, the service for more people. Because we, in, in the beginning we built it just for us, uh, but then we realized you can really apply it on many use cases, not just Oktoberfest. So, we're, with the Oktoberfest story, time. Yeah, I don't think you want to admit you started the company when you were drunk. So I just, a little tip <laughs> on the fundraiser, just kidding. <laughs> Uh, Kesey, thank you guys very much.